The purpose of this short video is just to illustrate the ease of use of Resource Central. So what I'm going to do is go through and book a meeting room using the system and add, add some extra services via Outlook and hopefully what we'll come across is, is the ease of use and, and obviously the integration with your familiar Outlook process for arranging a meeting. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my demo system and you'll see the starting point for uh, making a booking in Resource Central is just your Outlook calendar. It's single sign-on access. You don't have to log into any other area to create a booking or add extra services. You can just do it simply via your familiar Outlook calendar. Uh, so I'm going to go in and create my meeting in a very standard Outlook way. Monday, May the 1st, and let's have a meeting between 12 and 1.30. We'll give it a title, working lunch, and we'll invite some internal people to attend. So just my global address list, let's have um, James and Nigel. Hopefully they're going to be able to attend this meeting. Um, this is this meeting will be created in exactly the same way if it was a Skype for business meeting, um, as you know, a Skype for business meeting, as you know, is a pretty normal Outlook invitation. So this is just a normal Outlook meeting we're creating. I click on this resource finder tab, as you can see there, and it takes me into the system where I can see the availability of all the rooms I have access to. Um, I can make a change to the date and time that we're proposing. If I can see the meeting room I want is busy, I could change that there. Um, I could filter by location where, uh, where I need the meeting room. I could look, filter by category. Uh, perhaps it's a certain type of uh, room that I need. Perhaps it's a certain type of resource, not a room at all. Maybe it's a projector that I'm looking to book or a hot desk. I can also um, search by favorites that I've set, and, and there's a search and filter function as well to really narrow down the attributes of the room that I'm looking for. Because um, the system is Microsoft integrated and integrated with Active Directory, it allows me to see the availability of the, the internal colleagues that I've invited to the meeting. I can see that James and Nigel, luckily, are both available for that time. And I can browse meeting room, so I can see a nice picture of the, the room and see the capacity just by hovering on it. By clicking on it, I can actually see more attributes and any other further details you'd like to display about the rooms on your system. Um, this SG room looks pretty good for my meeting, and it's also, I know that it's available for the time I want, which is probably a good time to put uh, mention that any of these blue bars are just showing where there's bookings. Uh, a green bar is showing where that's my own, but I've actually got that. Uh, coast room booked earlier in the day. Uh, the system worked later to do a booking, so if I tried to book the mezzanine, which is in use at the time that I want my meeting, it just wouldn't let me do it. Uh, but this estuary room looks pretty good for my meeting, so I'm going to tick the box to secure the room. And if I didn't need anything out of the room, it was just the room booking I needed, I would just save and close. It would take me back to my Outlook invitation. But in this case, I want to create a services order. So I go down to this tab at the bottom here, which is called order form, and it takes me through to an order which order form which is specific to that estuary room. You can have as many different order forms as you like. Obviously, some rooms uh, might have different capabilities and attributes. But one thing we can do in here, we, we can we can add catering. It is a lunchtime meeting, so it'd be nice if I could order a plate of sandwiches. So let's um, create an order to be brought mid at the midpoint stage of the meeting, um, and we'll have sandwich lunch C. And we're going to have three of them because there's three people in the meeting. And you can see it's given us a cost amount there. You don't have to have that, but it's a feature that some people like. So moving down from catering, here's the, the attendees for the meeting. It's picked them up from the Outlook meeting invitation. If they need to, if reception needs to be notified that these people uh, are going to be coming into the building, then leave them on the list. You can put any extra details about them in here, which might be useful for reception. If they're internal to the building, they aren't going to be coming through reception. You could just take them off that list or untick that box. So the bottom part of the form is really just an example of the kind of things that you might want to have. You may want to have cost centers for meetings, so we, we can specify that this is a marketing owned meeting. Um, and there might be extra things you need for the meeting. So I want to generate a Wi-Fi code for this meeting. So because I've ticked that box, that's going to send a request, a notification through to the team or the person who's in control of generating Wi-Fi codes. And they'll so they'll know that this meeting at 12 o'clock on May the 1st, a Wi-Fi code needs generating for it, so it will associate the task to a certain team or person. Uh, other things in this form that uh, relevance was for this particular meeting, um, I want to uh, request a room layout, so we're going to have a horseshoe layout, and again, that request will now go through to the relevant team who would uh, go and move the chairs and tables around to create that, um, that uh, layout. So when you finish your form, you can just send the order, save and close here, 
and you're back at your original start point, your, your Outlook meeting invitation or Skype for business meeting invitation. So once I send that, that's when any service provider gets notified. Um, any in, uh, attendee for the meeting will just get a normal Outlook uh, meeting request as per. Um, and we can go back to my inbox. I get an acceptance proof in Microsoft Exchange showing that that meeting has been accepted. So I can delete that. It's not particularly important to keep. And I also get this notification, which is just dropped into my inbox, which confirms everything that I've ordered for this meeting. So I can run through it quickly. If I've made any errors on there, um, I can just click in here and I can go back to the order form to, to amend the error that I've made. So th that is, uh, in a nutshell, how to book a meeting room and add extra services using Resource Central. Hopefully that's come across as being quite a straightforward process because it is, if in working practice, that would probably only take you a couple of minutes. So thanks for listening.